Hello there, my name is Mr. Smartonkey. Welcome to my let's play of the Inner Sea. So the Inner Sea is a game that's kind of hard to explain. It's a sandbox pirate ship. Well, not really pirate ship necessarily. Just general ship sailing game that's very fun. I guess that's a pretty good explanation. Game's currently in early access, so uh, there are going to be things that aren't finished, things that'll change, bugs that you might see that will hopefully get fixed in the future. Developers were nice enough to uh, give me a press copy of the game. Uh, so thank you very much to developers. But without any further ado, let's jump into the game. Um, I already played about 20 minutes or so just to get an idea of how this game works. Um, but anyway, a new expedition. Months have passed since your last expedition. After such a large period of idleness, the crew is anxious and fidgety, longing to be underway and once more brave the vastness of the open seas. The weather is changing and the winds are becoming more favorable. The time has come for you to outfit your fleet and prepare to set sail once again. Alright. So, we get to basically choose our own ship first. Uh, we can. There's a few options and then they change the stats. I already know which one I'm going to go for because I had a look around before, like I said. Um, so first of all, let's compare these two. Um, I'm going to go for the Arabia one. Look, compared to this one, it's literally the same ship except this one has an extra 20 cargo space. So I, I don't see any reason why you would ever choose, choose this one over this one. Unless there's some kind of hidden stat that I'm not aware of. Um, and then if I compare it to the Kafai, um, this one has two more guns. It has one more speed. It has uh, 25 more hull uh, durability, but then 25 lower sales durability. Uh, it also holds five less crew. But I think having the two extra guns and one extra speed makes up for that. So we're going to go for Arabia. From the endless deserts of Arabia, giving life by the Red Sea and sailed by the Sambuk. So then we can outfit our ship, balanced, mostly cargo or mostly crew. So, um, crew is pretty... Uh, since i played a little bit of the game, I know sort of the way money works. And I, f I found that crew is pretty cheap to come by. It's not very expensive. Um, and I think... So... You give up basically, if you go for mostly cargo, which is the one I'm going to go for, I give up 5 crew for an extra 30 cargo. Now, I think the cargo can be anything. You also get an extra 100 bucks. And for 100 bucks, I mean, it's kind of, it's it's dependent on the town that you go to. Sometimes it's cheaper, sometimes it's more expensive. But I'd say you pay about, I don't know, 40 gold or something for 2 or 3 go uh, crew members. It's pretty random. Um, but yeah, I I'd say that getting the extra 100 gold and... Um, 30 cargo is definitely worth it to give up 5 crew members. Like, you could actually go for full-on crew, but then you only have 25 cargo and 50 gold. So, I think mostly cargo is probably the best one. You spend plenty of trade opportunities, so let's increase the cargo haul and gold in the detriment of the crew's quarters. Um, and then we can choose our sponsor, the King, the Merchant's Guild, and the Military Order, which changes our skill from Diplomacy, Trading, or Brawling. So, I'm going to go for Trading, kind of because I've already gone with so much cargo and gold. I feel like that's probably a good idea. The Merchant's Guild, the connection to the Merchant's Guild provides you with deep insight into a straight process. So we're going to go for that. Now we can choose our color of the ship. Um, I, because I like orange a lot, I'm going to go with orange. And then we can choose our coat of arms. Um, there's no donkey, sadly. I'm not surprised. No game ever has a donkey. It's really annoying. So I'm going to go for the uh, the horse. There's also, I guess this is supposed to be a camel. Or there's not like another beast that has like, I don't know, do camels have one bulge or whatever you call this? Or is it the uh, the other animal? I, I don't know what the English word for is for it is in Dutch. I believe it's called a dromedaris, but I'm not sure what it's called in in English. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go for the the horse because it's you know it's a distant cousin of the donkey, so I guess that makes sense. And now we can name our flagship. Now in in Sea Dog style, I would have liked to have gone for the donkey nader, but that part doesn't even fit. You can't even fit the donkey. Oh, well, you can just about fit the donkey, but you can't even fit donkey nader just by itself. Just donkey nado. Um, so I am just going to go for the donk. Um, because, yeah, donkey nado doesn't fit. So the donk is just as good. Let's do it. Jump into the game. After the storm, you were sailing through uncharted waters when suddenly you were caught in a violent squall like the like of which your crew has never seen before. After days of facing roaring winds, incessant rains, and monstrous waves, the sea finally quiets down and you realize you're in the eye of the storm. Strangely enough, the waters here seem untouched by the ra raging gale that you can still see over the horizon. Right, so this is the game. Um, this is the map. I don't know if the map is randomized or not. I would assume it is because it is like a sandbox game. Um, but I don't know if the map is randomized. I do know that the starting position is randomized because uh, last time I started over here. 
Um, so the, def the starting position is definitely randomized. I don't know if the map is randomized though. Like it could be that places are, but I'm not sure. So I can't say yes or no on that. Anyway, use the arrow keys or WSD to move the camera around. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. You can use the buttons at the top right corner of the uh, at the top right corner to speed up time or slow it down. Whenever you enter combat, the speed will always be reset to normal. You can pause or unpause by pressing space. While paused, you're free to move the camera around or even issue commands to your fleet. Press an F key will bring up the fleet menu. From this menu, you're able to manage your fleet and crew, consult your mission log, check which blueprints you have unlocked so far, or your current standing with several factions. So we can actually have a look at that right now. So you can see this is the crew. So I can just like grab a bunch of them and put them in a different ship once we have more ships. Uh, currently, we of course only have one. This is currently our flagship as well. Same with cargo, just grab some cargo, put it in a different ship. So here's our skills. Uh, currently, your officials are still inexperienced in the art of captaining a ship. You can only control one ship. So once we level this up, we can have more. And I guess there's going to be diplomacy, trading, and brawling skills, but we haven't got anything of that unlocked yet. There's a mission log. We haven't got any missions yet. So as far as I'm aware, there's no like main storyline or something. Because it is a sandbox game. So the, the goal is basically to just... I guess, I don't know, murder people, and I don't know if there's actually an ending, or you just keep going until you get bored of it, or, or you can take over the entire world, I, I don't know, this is something for the future, again, it's an early access, so maybe it's something they're planning on doing, or I don't know, and then there's the factions, these are randomized um, every time as well, I do know that much, because these are different than the ones I saw last time, so we got the Norman, the Kin, and the Caliphate, um, I'm not sure if the, maybe the names are the same, I'm not sure actually, I think everything's randomized, I've, I do believe I've seen the Kin before, but... Um, anyway, so everyone's suspicious of us. As, as far as I can tell, there's like four factions essentially. There's these three and then there's me as well. But when I played last time, um, I saw like other factions that weren't on this list as well. So maybe they're like minor factions or something. I don't know. Anyway, so that's that. Um, the game will save automatically every time you dock into a city whenever you exit the game. Press that left mouse button over your flagship and drag to draw your ship's path. The ship will then try to follow the path to its best of its ability. There you go. You can move like that. And we are off. So, oh, there's a fish right there. Press the right mouse button over a resource to bring up the context menu. Press the fish hook icon to farm the resource. So we can do that and then start fishing it. And then let's get rid of that so we actually go into time again. Uh, we're already on double speed. That's the time I like to play this at. Because normal speed is very freaking slow. I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to... You're supposed to sort of play it max out. So we already have 80 cargo. Each fish is like one extra cargo. So we're probably filling up pretty rapidly here, actually. Uh, yeah, we have 97 out of 100. So I guess we can do one more thing. And then we're full. There we go. Actually, we picked up four. Did we get... No, we're still at 100. So I guess we're just full. So I think we just need to look for a town. Well, there's one right there. Al Moyas Bosayeb. Press the right mouse button over a city will bring up the context menu. Choose the anchor icon to dock. When docked, the city menu will pop up, giving you the ability to interact with the city. So we'll do that. The Caliphate capital of Al Mosayyab is bringing up wealth. So we speak to the governor. Hmm, I've heard rumors of you. Not a single one of them good. Oh. Okay. Tavern. <laughs> Apparently it's not the same lady, except a little darker. Um. Right, so we can actually ask them if they know of any skilled shipmates to uh, help or to join. 52 to stimulate my memory. Alright, so there's three scandals in the back room. We can actually do this uh, constantly, but it's always the same price. And I've definitely seen it for cheaper as well, so I'm just going to grab those three and then I'll look later. Um, oh, wow, we got... Actually, well, I don't know. Yeah, we got a little lucky with the, um, the hold because we have 40 medals, and medals are worth 10 each, so I'm actually going to sell like a bunch of those. I don't know if, if stuff is worth like more or less in different places. I think it is, actually, because I'm pretty sure I saw would be 8 and 6 in a previous playthrough, so I'm guessing there are some randomized factors there. We got some cattle and some of that fish. The fish is really worth nothing, so I'm just going to sell that. Uh, we'll keep 5, actually. So, like, each one is basically one hold, or, uh, or one ton, I guess. Um, some cattle as well. Let's sell some cattle. I don't know, again, if this is worth more or less in a different place, so well, I guess I'll sell it all now, because I messed up. I wanted to have, like, five left, but whatever. And we got a bunch of grog. Grog is worth not much either. Let's just sell ten of that. I don't know if your crew need it or something, or, like, if there's actually a reason to hold it, but... Anyway, let's sell some more metals, actually. Let's keep, um, ten of them. So I'll check in other places. We're selling it for ten, and we, we can buy it for thirteen. Let's see if that's different in other places or not. So we've got 573 gold already. Um... Let's talk or ask the governor if she's got any quests for us. Personal enemy is mine. It's been flaunting his new flagship. We can't really have that. I'd like you to go and capture his new toy and bring it to me. No. 
I want to do a different quest, a little easier. You would come to, at a most convenient time. I would like you to deliver this parcel together with this letter to the Governor of Grestain. Sure, we'll do that. Have you got any other quests? I need a discreet captain to take care of an issue for me. A few days ago, I sold a shipment of goods to a foreign trader. Turns out he's been spreading lies about my goods and saying they're subpar. And when a ship sunk, so he learns his lesson and stops spreading his nefarious lies. Would you be up to the task? No. I don't want to do any quests that have me fighting yet because I'm going to absolutely destroy it if I do that. A couple of our ships disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Uh, we suspect pirates may be involved. Would you be available to, for hire to escort one of our ships to its destination? Definitely, yeah. I'm sure your presence will be enough to discourage our enemies enough. That's definitely a little mistake there. They left from Al Mosayep. Taking into account the time they left, they're probably somewhere close to the city of Al Mosayep. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, there. That's this city. Um, I actually saw it. Well, when I first played, I actually like accepted just for fun. Well, for fun, just to see if it would work. I accepted like six or seven quests or something, and a bunch of those were escort quests. So what happened is, um, well, you'll see in a second. Actually, can I do like this rumor thing? Uh, this ship has left from oh, my ship carrying zero tons of wood. Very inf useful information. Anyway, so what happens? Um, Actually, no, hold on. I'll tell you guys in a second, because I want to inquire about the Aziz. They left from Os... Okay, whatever. Right. So what happened is... Uh, that, right there. That ship sort of spawns on you. Hold on, why is it... Oh, right, because of this. Press the right mouse button over a ship will bring up the context menu. You can choose to attack or follow any ship. There you go. It spawns like that, so we can follow this ship. Holy shit, that was a big pirate ship right there. Um, and I, I took, like, several of those quests, so what happened is, like, three or four ships all spawned. Um, for me to escort them at the same time, and they all went into different directions, but basically you don't want to do that. You don't want to accept, like, a ton of quests um, at the same time. Not escort quests, anyway, because then you just sort of run into that problem. It's actually kind of unfortunate uh, that the ship is relatively fast, because, well, never mind. Oh, there you go. Okay, it's, it's faster now again, because what I was having before is, um, we're actually done already, so I can just end it there. Um, that I was following a ship that was slower than me, so my ship, ship kept going like that. It was really weird. Anyway, so we can just turn... Uh, we can go back here and turn this quest in whenever, as far as I'm aware. Actually, can we? It doesn't... Yeah, there you go. There's a little... Um, it's hard to see, actually. But there's a star right there. It's because of the lighting. It, you can't actually really see it. But yeah, we, we did the quest. We don't have to follow him all the way back again. But while we're here, let's go to Telafar real quick. See if he's got... Or if she's got any quests. Another lady couple of, uh, yes, escorts. I will definitely escort you, or this ship, even. Understood. Right, have you got anyone to join? 37 gold, there you go. Five scoundrels for 37. There you go, that's f 37 for five. We, in the beginning, we gave up five crew members for extra 100 gold and 30 extra cargo. And we just bought five of them for 37, or whatever it was. So, you know, it's like, ridiculous. Another free right there. How much are we on right now? Uh, 26. Okay, I want four more. Two more. Two more. There we go. We are full. Um, metals, 13 and 10, so that's the same here. Uh, we got some fish, that's the same. Okay. I'll keep the I'll keep the metals, see if it's worth anything or more in any other place. Right, have you got any other quests for me? No. Um, no. 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 Okay, I'll do one more, and if it's not something good... No, okay. Never mind. We're, we're gonna escort this ship right here. The Amjat. I wonder what that icon is. I, I think that that's what um, uh, means that we are the flagship of our, like, crew. Oh, watch out! Okay. Nearly went into that little island there. Could have gone horribly wrong for you, Amjat. Amjat, even. Sorry. Wow, there's a lot of islands here that actually don't have any city on them or anything. Just random islands. Budget or something. I guess we're um, dealing with kind of a Eastern faction, I guess. I mean, like real world Eastern. I'm Jat and all those kind of names. Oh no, we lost him. Ah, and they're like really fast as well, so we can't actually catch up to him. And I don't know where he's going, so we've got to hope that we. Oh, here we go. We're, we're supposed to be going to the city here. Uh, so he's probably over here somewhere. But, there he is, I'm Jot. Did we do it, though? I don't know, I think I may have filled the quest now. Because, we did. We weren't there. I couldn't do anything, but we got blocked by a ship! Uh, oh, never mind, we, have a, uh, we had a different quest to deliver here. Never mind. Uh, you have any quest for me? 
Uh, yeah, I can do that for you. Any other quests? Nope, don't want to do that. Nope, don't want to do that. Yes, I'll... Wait, is that the same place? You want to be delivered two parcels there? Sweet, easy quests. No. Uh, yes, I will escort that ship. Cool. Trader. Metals, 14 here. Wow, okay, so I definitely sold, shouldn't have sold them in that other place. I'll definitely sell them here, though. So we missed out, because we have 30 of them, times 4. We missed out on 120 gold. It's kind of a shame, but not a big deal. Uh, grog and fish still worth the same. Okay. Let us... Let's leave and escort this ship. The Austur. This ship looks a little slower than ours. Yeah, this is the thing that I was talking about. We just sort of like go like that the entire time because this ship is so slow. So we have two quests to deliver over there, I guess. And then we have our quest to turn in back there as well. And some fish right there. I probably could actually go out of my way and grab some, but let's not go absolutely crazy. Where are we delivering you to? Does it actually say? I don't think it does. Escort the Aziz to its destination. Well, that's very useful. Actually, hold on. Is that a... Oh, that's a different ship. It's this one, but it doesn't actually change anything. The Carlink. Ooh, tell me you were going here. Actually, I can already tell, can't I? Oh, it's it's going to the to Al Musayep, I guess, because we have the icon there, and we're going in that direction. I don't see the icon anywhere else except for over here, which is where we're supposed to deliver those two parcels, I guess. Oh no, he's supposed to go here because we just did it. Okay, bleak tweet. Um, let's have a look at the tavern. No rumors. A call quest is left from bleak tweet carrying 25 tons of furs. Useful information. Alright. Metals are worth 14 here as well. It's alright. Fish is one. Grog is one. I feel like we should just sell this crap because it's not going to be worth anything else. Uh, or in more anywhere else, is it? Let's get rid of all the holds. Um, you got any quests for me? Mm, no. Uh, parcel to Alma, so yep. Yes, I will do that. Anything else? No. That Aziz guy, everyone hates this Aziz guy, apparently. I've seen this several times now. Escort, yes. Um, okay, cool. Let's do one more escort quest. Oh, there we go. Where are we going? We just, like, randomly went in from that direction. So I've got, like, several quests to go to El Mosayeb. Looks like we might be going there right now for this quest as well. Yeah, we definitely are. Okay, cool. That's another easy one, then. Ooh, Walrus, that's ivory right there. I definitely want to go back here in a minute, because that's worth a lot of money. Definitely want to, like, just sit there for half an hour, just getting a hundred hold of... of, uh, ivory. Aziz, that's Aziz right there, that's him! That's the guy everyone wanted dead. I've seen that quest pop up, like, several times now. <laughs> everyone wanted that guy dead. Damn Aziz, ruining shit for everyone. Alright, here we are. Let's go in and turn in, like, all of our million quests here. Uh, 780 gold already, nice. And package, 880. About 100 bucks for that. Alright, let's go, um, let's go towards that, that walrus right there. Because that is worth a lot of money if you just, like, sit there for just a minute. Taking all that stuff. There's Aziz again. I recognize that ship right away. Ivory. I don't see anything bad about doing this, like, as far as I'm aware, you can just sort of sit here for literally half an hour just getting a hundred of this ivory stuff, and ivory is worth a lot. Like, I think it's worth a little more than the metals. So it's literally just, like, free money just sitting here. So what I'm gonna do, actually, is that as easy again? No, it's Amani. I'm gonna end the episode here, and I'm just gonna keep doing this, and then I'll start next episode with, uh... A full cargo hold of ivory, I guess. What is this Asphal doing? Afzal even. Get the hell out of here. Anyway, so I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Next time you see me, I will have a full cargo hold of ivory. Until then, have a good day and goodbye.